Let's talk about tripods. Uh, it's essential you have a tripod. That's one piece of kit that you absolutely need. Uh, you don't need an expensive one, but you do need a tripod. If you're working by yourself, obviously you need something to hold the camera. If, even if you have an assistant, uh, a human being holding a camera, it will move a little bit, and that movement is both distracting to the viewer, but it also means that it gets compressed more heavily when it goes on the internet and the quality of the video is lowered unnecessarily. So you want a tripod for optimum video quality and to be less distracting to the viewer, let alone the fact that uh, it means you can actually do something yourself. Now, what do you need in a tripod? Uh, almost anything will do in a pinch. Uh, there, are some, there are some better choices, but even a, even a cheap, horrible tripod will work, and that's a, that's a big plus. Now, Gorilla Pods are really useful. This is a full-size Gorilla Pod, and you can get it to bend around things like that so that it can stick onto something, like the back of a chair, for example, or you can put it on a table, and that will hold your camera up, and these are cheap as chips. Um, they go kind of anywhere, uh, and... Yeah, they're great. Now, that's a full-size one. There's a little one. Now, this one will work on a phone, but will not work on anything bigger than that because it will just sag. On a phone, it's okay. Even on a phone, it's, it's pretty minimal. Um, but these are really, really cheap, and these don't cost a lot more. I'd go for the big one if you can. Now, with a tripod, uh, I'm assuming you're going to beg or borrow one, but in which case, anything will do. Uh, but if you are going to go and buy one, um, there's a few things you might want to look at. Uh, the first thing is, is that um, look at the quality of the leg locks. Uh, are they easy to use? Are they really, really stiff and hard to use? Uh, or do they look like they're going to be flimsy and fall apart? I like using, for video use, there's a thing called a, a video head, which will cost you a lot more. I think they start at around about 150 and go upwards from there. That will give you smooth pans. If you don't use smooth pans, then a still camera head is absolutely fine. And uh, what, I, what I use for my still camera work is a, uh, a ball head, which can be tilted any which way. Something that's very useful is a spirit level on the tripod, because if you've got a spirit level, then you can, that can help you to level up what your, to level your camera up so you don't have everything on a, on a tilt. If you remember the, um, one of the videos in the series of uh, how to do it all wrong has, has a, a, a tilt on it and it, it looks awful. So a spirit level is very useful. Uh, you will find that there are professional tripods which cost the same as cheap consumer tripods but are much, much better simply because they come from professional shops. Um, brands to look for would be Manfrotto and Benro amongst others. Another useful item in a tripod, and this really does only come in slightly more expensive models, is a centre column that you can put horizontal. If you can do that, that's really good for going down on documents. And you'll see when we get to the um, over-the-shoulder via heart style of things how useful that can be.